one thing I want to comment about uh, the gizmo here. They just don't get gizmo, right? They just don't get it. They think that they have all the circles, scaling, and movement, all the rotations, yeah, scale and movement on the same gizmo is a good thing. It's not a good thing. Um, if you look at traditional uh, sculpting, uh, modeling software packages like Maya, Modo, CDS Max, they don't pull those together because you don't want scale things when you are dragging things around. You just don't want that. You have all those shortcuts to switch between those two, those three things. Why do you put all those things here? You know how hard it is to drag things around with that there? Because in Maya or CTS Max, you can drag that middle one. It's going to move it. But here, it's scaling it because you define that as scale. You have to drag that instead of there because that's scaling. You cannot drag there. It's rotation. So it's just all messed up. Both ZBrush and uh, uh, Modeler Designer, they're, they're, they're trying to make them all at the same gizmo. It's not the right, right thing to do, at least to a traditional model like me. It's stupid. Okay, so I'm not sure if they really ask professionals what do they really want, but this is bad. Okay, this is really bad. Uh, you you can, uh, when you're trying to drag things around, you can only go there, right? That's a really hard thing to, to go for. If you can drag what's in the middle too, it's going to be much easier. Okay, so just something to think about, I think, but it's just really bad to me. I hate it. Even a little detail is going to be uh, really annoying. Okay, another technique people do here is uh, they try to create smaller strands on the side of the you know the, the hair so they're not all the same geometry. Uh, so they have something like this. Uh, what they do is uh, as simple as this: you just mask that area. Let me use uh, the free hand. That mask that area. You know, and then uh, extract it. Uh, here and then that extracted out will be something new so then they can maybe uh, then I match it oh, too low <laughs> okay so let me get 512 my model is too small anyway so then I match it to create a little strand like that and then you just uh, make it go a little bit outside of the range of the hair system here so that you have something that's actually floating around because that's true in real human hair uh, something are floating out of the hair so I think I need to actually uh, scale it this way to make it fighter in that direction and then it's supposed to shrink it in I don't really want it to be uh, that wide of that direction, so let me just uh, cut it out and, and then smooth it out. So something like this uh, around the hair, just to 
make it look more detailed because uh, there's no way you can do something like this on a simple geometry right so th that's why you can create separated hair strands uh, as on the side of the hair just to you know make it better okay so you can uh, spend some time doing this so I'm gonna spend some time create that and uh, I think then we're done <laughs> with the hair Alright, so I've added more of those smaller strands just to give it more detail. You can keep adding those things if you wanted to. But those are more or less for visualizing things with a better, you know, results. Uh, they may or may not be able to transfer to <laughs> game engine or 3D render, but you know, it's your choice then uh, if you wanted to retopologize those things too. Uh, but overall, I think the key uh, thing you wanted to do is in the entire process is you want to make sure that uh, uh, you have uh, very reasonable big clumps of hairs uh, when there is long hair you can use this technique to draw things out instead of sculpting because it's really hard to get nice and smooth result uh, like those right so let me 
Christmas out of the door. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, that's gonna be the entire tutorial for how to create hair uh, sculpting wise in ZBrush. Uh, of course, this is the one of the workflows. There could be more other workflows that does the same thing or different, giving you a different kind of result. Um, my workflow here is more closer to realistic kind of approach. Uh, if you want it to be a little bit more cartoony, maybe you can have bigger, you know, <clears throat> hair strands and things like that. But basically, it, it should be a similar workflow. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.